But what what I'm trying to do is actually find the museum. I kind of forgot where exactly it's located. I just know it's somewhere in Foresight. But Foresight is a little bit big. This is why you might want to keep the map with you. Just because then you can relatively easily just check your map like, oh, this is there and this is there. But I think it's down here. No, that's the... Yeah, it's up here. Okay, that is our museum. Let's go inside. Dinosaur Museum doesn't have real dinosaurs, they're replicas. Everyone knows that. If you still want to go see, $5 a piece. A little bit more expensive, but we have the money for it. We have a big, big skeleton here. But yeah, it's so tall, you can't even see the top. Dinosaur bones believed to be from Southern Scaraba. Don't ask for details, our research is continuing. Hmm. I'm sure a lot of them go extinct before humans see them. It should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Hey, dinosaurs on t-shirts would be cool. Yeah, I know that dinosaur bones are huge, and we're not huge, but that's okay. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tapala Theater. Could you bring me your autograph on the eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. If you can get an autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. I hope you mean unused, but if we want to see this extraordinary thing, we're gonna have to gather ourselves an autograph. So fine, fine. We'll go to the Topala Theater and see this new act in town. Which means we're gonna have to buy a ticket for 30 bucks. Yeah, they really like to Take our money, don't they? Uh, you have the show ticket. Alright, show is starting any minute. Um, I guess we should go in. Oh, baby, 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 don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only, baby, penis. Singing, I can die a happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight. Venus, baby. Boom, <laughs> Venus. Wow, that's quite something. Well, as always, enjoy the show.
I don't know about you guys, but um, the Runaway 5 is a bit more my jam. Hmm. Okay, we don't want to talk with you. Uh, right, we need to go backstage. That's it. We should still be allowed backstage, right? Maybe? Yeah, okay, cool. We're allowed backstage. Hey, Venus. You want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Sweet. You have a signed banana. Oh, this is a bonus. Smack. I think she just gave Ness a little kiss. Ah, oh, Paula, aren't you jealous? Aren't you jealous Ness got a kiss? Uh, maybe she's not into Ness. Maybe she's into, like, Pooh or something. Or Jeff. Could be. Then Tony will get jealous, though, if she's into Jeff. I'm overthinking relationships in Earthbound way too much. Let's just go back to the museum. Actually, let me check. Um... I probably could be better equipped for this. Fine, we'll pay again. I could probably be better equipped for this, but... Eh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this anyway. Um, but if you want to be better equipped, you might want to stock up on some food and stuff. You want to know about something extraordinary? Yep. Okay, yeah, we can bring her your auto the autograph. Okay, uh, so let's see, signed banana, you got it, the banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph, yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary, in the next room, there's light shining from far far below the mantle, there I found a huge monster rat, I'm not trying to pull your leg, I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Hmm, a huge monster rat, huh? Well I guess we can take a look down here. And that will actually put us in the sewers here. Now, what I recommend to do is just go into the sewage water and just move right. Ignore any doors and stuff that you see. Um, it's just not really necessary to go through there. At least not initially. There are going to be some enemies around, of course. Uh, they are going to look like trash cans. But this way we can pretty much avoid most of them and not really worry about them all too much. And we'll just make our way to this um, this big rat that was supposed to be down here. We'll have to fight some enemies though. Some are going to be in the sewage water. Filthy attack roach. Um, do I want to... Um... I'll just try bashing with everyone, I think. 63 HP of damage. Yeah. They can hit quite hard. And Pooh is now level 25. Good. I'm glad he got another level up. He still desperately needs to catch up with the rest. But that's okay. Another filthy attack roach. Yep, okay, well, same tactic should work then. It's knitting its brow, so... We can easily get through that. There we go. They're not too tricky at all, really. Oh, it left a present, a secret herb. Nice, and Jeff levels up. That was a good fight. Let's keep going then. We'll see if we come across any more enemies. Ah, okay. So there's a trash can in the sewage water. In that case, it's pretty obvious that it's, you know, gonna be an enemy and isn't, you know, um, what, what, how would you say that? Isn't an actual trash can you can get an item from. It doesn't really blend in well. Of course, this ghost doesn't really... go down easily towards regular attacks as you can see so we'll have to use some PSI attacks on it unfortunately 
its body solidified. And finally we got it down. Yeah, you're gonna want to use some PSI, but I also want to save my PP, so I don't want to use too much of it. But sometimes you'll just have to. I think we're closing in on the end. So that is good. There's another stairs here. A door. Okay, I think yeah. It, okay, there we go. That that's where we want to head to. We're gonna have to fight two more violent roaches before we get around to that, though. In that case, let's do gaming beta. Let's do. Let's do fire alpha. Jeff, you can shoot, and Pooh, you can bash. Oh, what? That's not good. That did a lot of damage to Jeff. We're gonna have to heal Jeff up before this is over. Hopefully this will finish them off, though. Yep, that's tame. And you're still alive? You're still alive. Jeff, don't die. Good job, Jeff. You stayed alive when I needed you to. Ampu is level 26. Okay. Now, Ness, you can do life up on Pooh or on Jeff. Okay, let's see. So Ness, missing about 20 HP and half his PP. Fall has it full, full. Uh, I think we're probably fine for this. So let's do our next your sanctuary location. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Thanks for me if you dare. This is the plague rat of doom. That's right. This is the big, big old rat that uh, they were talking about. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, PSI Gaming Beta. With Paula, we're going to just use our strongest PSI freeze attack. Uh, Jeff, if you have bottle rockets, you want to use those. Uh, I guess we have a bomb. I'll throw that. And then poo. I'll also use the strongest PSI freeze with him. And we'll see how quickly this battle will be over if we do all of this. Freezes do work quite well, plus it will solidify him sometimes. So that's quite nice, especially now that Pooh can also use it. You know, you have twice the chance of getting a solidify off, which I quite like. Um, I'll throw a super bomb also I need to remember to put away the pencil eraser statue or yeah the pencil eraser because I don't need it anymore okay bite using its poisonous fan we dodged luckily this battle is going really well like we haven't really suffered any damage from him yet uh, Pooh is pretty much out of things to use though so just shoot at him and we'll keep going for the rest i think we might be able to finish him off this turn though okay yeah just bashing him does nothing pretty much but there we go we do make him thing that was a really easy fight for us in the end ness is now level 44 that's good paula 38 Jeff 39 and Pooh 27 Magnet Omega and 28 and 29 there we go bunch of levels for Pooh also let's actually make sure we leave here or we get the sound Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's soundtone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. And we can get the carrot key. Jeff will take that. Now that we're going back through, of course, the enemies will run away from you as usual. 
I'm not sure we can auto kill them. We cannot. And it didn't really run away from us all that well. It's a bit annoying. Oh well. Well, we're gonna make our way through here, but on the way back, um, I actually want to show it off because this time we are gonna go ahead and uh, get the items that are in there. Jeez. Stupid roaches doing a lot of damage to me. Now, the carrot key that we got here will come in handy for something that we have seen. Uh, what we definitely want to do is go in there. That's the most important one. Oh, hey, there's mice. There's another enemy that can be down here that we didn't see. So, will we show it off? Yes, we will. The deadly mouse and its cohorts. Uh, let's do gaming. Let's do fire beta. Let's shoot and bash. Pretty sure fire and gaming will be enough to take them out. If not, I'll be surprised. Well, it did not work, and some of them did survive. Okay, well, color me surprised. This fire will take them out, right? Well, it took one of them out, another one of them out, and you're dead too. Good. Paula now level 39 and Pooh level 30. He's starting to catch up. Which I'm glad to see. Anyway, we want to come in this room here. And we want to pick up a broken bazooka for Jeff. That's very, very, that's a very good uh, item for Jeff. That's going to be one of the stronger weapons for him in the game, I think. Uh, you need about uh, 44. 5 IQ I believe to fix it so it might be a little bit I'm not sure what Jeff's IQ is at right now it's at 36 so yeah we're we're a little bit short still I'm gonna walk past the mouse don't really care too much about fighting everything let's check this next door here Oh, that has a butterfly. That's quite nice, actually. Pretty sure this is just a infinite butterfly room. So we can't keep using that. And in that case, you can definitely use this as a place to grind up uh, poo a little bit more. And we got a Rust Promoter DX. Which is good. Um, should be a few more items that we can get. I'll have to go back in the muck, though. Let's go in. It walks so slow. Ah. That's the most annoying thing about this uh, dungeon, if you can even call it that. It's kind of too short, in my opinion, to really be called a dungeon. Yeah, that's an enemy. I was going to say, there was no trash can there. I think you can tell by the tint of the trash cans whether they're alive or not. Like the non-alive ones have a bit more of a yellowy tint to them. Can I like walk past without fighting? Cool, I can. Good. And I will be doing that. What's in here? Yeah, see this looks a little bit more yellowy than uh, the other ones. Broken spray can. He can fix that into a defense spray. Probably. Which isn't the best, but hey. It's a free item. You might as well get it. We're gonna go ahead and go through here. And... Just wait through the muck. Slow as ever. Slow as can be. Oh, earthbound, earthbound, earthbound. I, I like the game, but sometimes... It, things are already slow enough. You don't need to slow my walking down even more by making me walk through muck. Well, we can get a croissant. Not overly great at this point in the game. But, uh, hey, it's a free croissant. And in here, we have an enemy. Well, two, because another one showed up. 
didn't really want you to show up, but you did. Jeff and Pooh, you guys just attacked the mouse. Can I freeze? It's body solidified. That's actually good. Stinky Gus won't do anything. Stinky Gus was able to move. Um, let's just bash. I think the mouse should die sooner. Yep, it did. And we get a crit on the stinky ghost. Sweet. I'm happy with that. No level ups this time. And we get a broken iron. Who takes it? We'll probably have to reshuffle our items a little bit. So Jeff has all the broken stuff, but whatever. That's it for the sewers. So we have five Your Sanctuary locations done now. Aw, he doesn't like being alone. Poor guy. Well, don't make us charge admission then if we if you don't like being alone. Then I'll come visit. But you're gonna charge me admission and I don't want to pay just to keep you company. And as we exit... Yet another picture taken. So, let's go ahead and say Fuzzy Pickles! So, at this point, once more, we have choices. We can choose to go and... Um, oh wow, the mad taxi runs away? Well, it looked for a second like he was running away. Um, anyway... Fine lady, I'll fight you too. Anyway, as I was saying, right now we can make the decision to make our way back to... Uh, Scaraba, or over to Scaraba, like we could have done before this, or we can get yet another Your Sanctuary location. I'm gonna choose to do the latter, so we're gonna go ahead and teleport, and where we want to teleport is actually to Delam. <laughs> 